Google has launched their own AI supercomputer that they say is faster and greener than the NVIDIA A100 chip. So take a look at this. The Google TPU is what they call it, otherwise known as the Tensor Processing Unit. And they account that that is for 90% of the company's work on their artificial intelligence training. And essentially, they have been developing this chip for quite some time and they say the current fourth generation which is on right now is the one that they claim to be extremely powerful. So they state that they have put it together with more than 4,000 of the chips into a supercomputer using its own custom developed optical switches that they help connect individual machines. So let's just take a quick background look on the TPU tensor processing unit. So this is from the Wikipedia article, and this was actually introduced in May of 2016. Now, if you'd like to see more of the technical definitions, obviously you can take a look at this. However, I simply want to showcase the history of the development of the TPU so you can fully understand where they're at right now. So they did have the first generation, which you can see currently was here. Then they moved on to the second generation, which was announced in May of 2017. Moving on to third generation, May 8th of 2018. And then now fourth generation, they say this was again back in 2021, that they spoke about this during their keynotes. And essentially now they are on to current year, which they state has been significantly more powerful than the NVIDIA A100 chip. So as many of you, if you follow the AI space, might have heard of ChatGPT, and there's also Google Bard, which is the competitor. And for now, ChatGPT is powered by NVIDIA's A100 chips. And that is the pioneer in the space in terms of the AI. And NVIDIA so far has been dominating that market. And essentially, Google, with their new TPU, they're looking to compete with that. And as you can see here, the Google TPU's base supercomputer, which they call the TPU version 4, is supposedly 1.2 times to 1.7 times faster. And it uses 1.3 times to 1.9 times less power than a NVIDIA A100, according to Google researchers. However, there's a catch. Apparently, NVIDIA has this new chip called the H100. And what they are saying is the H100 is levels above the current chip that they are comparing it to. So you can see here, they even stated that the Google TPU, they were not comparing this with the latest NVIDIA's H100 chip because they state that that one is more recent and it has more advanced technology. So right off the bat, NVIDIA is already breaking through with their extremely powerful H100 chip. And it looks like the data from Google's TPU, again, it is better than Nvidia's previous chips. However, this brand new one, it seems like they will have to do another test or make some upgrades to see the full comparison. Cause it seems like at this current rate, Nvidia as of today still has the top tier chip. So just to see some visuals, here is NVIDIA discussing the H100 chip. And essentially, I wanna show you this visual. Basically, here you can see some pictures and pretty much look at this graph right here. This one showcases the A100 versus the H100. And just take a look. So the bottom line, you can clearly see the less color green dark one is the seven days to train versus the H100 only 20 hours to train. So that is literally crazy fast compared to the previous A100. So the fact that the Google TPU was only leveled against the A100 means that they definitely have to either release something significantly more powerful or the H100 from this current model is better than anything that I've seen so far. And as you can see, it quotes as nine times higher AI training on the largest models. And this is based off of 395 billion parameters. So Google did release this research paper regarding the TPU version four. And 
to be honest, if most people are watching this, they don't want to sit here and read through this. Very complicated to understand. And most people, unless you're in the space, probably have no idea what they're talking about. So what I went ahead and did is made it easier for you. So here, went ahead and went to ChatGPT4, which from my knowledge currently, again, is being powered by NVIDIA. But I copied that into here to summarize it. And here is the more technical definition and talks about linear versus non-linear. And that still seems what complicated to most people. So I said explain to a college student. And you can still see it still talks about linear versus non-linear using some words that some people which don't want to sit here and listen. And then we said, let's make it simpler. And basically they state here that they're finding ways to build a machine learning model that can process and understand complex data. And there's two types, there's linear and there's non-linear. So linear, they can capture simple relationships between the variables while the non-linear models can capture more complex relationships. So they state the authors found that non-linear models perform better than linear models on various tasks such as cleaning up noisy images, generating new images, and classifying different types of data. Also, the authors add more layers to the nonlinear models, making them deeper, while the models perform even better. This means that the deep nonlinear models can improve how well machine learning applications work and make them accurate in solving real-world problems. Now, if that's still confusing to you, don't worry. I said explain it to a kid. And here we go. Super smart robot can learn and understand different things. Richard's paper is about making the robot even smarter by teaching it in a better way. And there's two ways to teach a robot. A simple way, which they claim as linear, and a more complex way, not linear. And they found that when they teach a robot using the complex way, it becomes smarter and can do better in different tasks like cleaning messy pictures, creating new pictures, and showing things into groups. And they also when they add layers of learning to the robot, it becomes even better at doing these tasks. So these researchers help make the robot smarter, which can help it solve problems more effectively. So in short, make the AI have more complicated things to do. It learns faster, more complex, just like real life. Obviously, if you do something difficult, whatever it is, you'll learn it and you'll understand that. So for now, it seems like the AI space is getting really interesting. And Google even hinted that it might be working on a new TPU that could compete with the H100 from NVIDIA, but I think it's really an AI race at this point because NVIDIA is already out there. Google will have to either speed up the process or do something to even compete, let alone surpass NVIDIA. And there's also other big players in the space that we aren't even mentioning. However, we'll discuss that in a later video. But aside from that, if you enjoyed this, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And thank you for watching.